Commissioner Higgs from the 6th District, will you um, cite prayer for us to be placed? Dear Heavenly Father, as we come to you today, just thank you for the many blessings you receive. Lord, we just ask that you be with each and every one here. Lord, help us make the decisions to better our county. Lord, as we come to you tonight, we just ask that you be with the sick and the oppressed. Lord, we just ask that you lead God and direct them, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Mr. Bark, will you lead us in the pledge, please? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Stephen Stokes is not feeling well tonight, so he won't, will not be here. And that roll call, please. Keith Arnold. Here. Stephen Stokes. Marty Douglas. Here. Edward Bain. Here. Kenneth Miller. Here. Rocky Preston. Shop Local. Brad Bird. Here. Frank Lashley. Here. Gary Bird. Here. Dwayne Fowler. Here. Sonny Paul. Here. Bill Melton. Here. Jimmy Kennison. Here. Mike Nunnery. Here. Rosanna Warren. Here. Daryl Higgs. Here. Jerry Price. Here. Terry King. Here. One absent. We did have a quorum. That was a mistake. Next on the agenda is to approve the agenda. I need a motion and a second. We have a motion by Commissioner Melton and a second by Commissioner Miller. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Next is number two, which is the resolution to approve the Benton County Mayor's tentative negotiated sale agreement of the property known as the Old Walmart Building in accordance with resolution number 2022-1017-15, which is passed by the Benton County Commission at the regular October meeting. We have a motion by Commissioner Melton and a second by Commissioner Arnold. The floor is open for discussion. Can I speak? Uh, I just want to thank everybody for coming tonight. I'm very sorry to tie up your night for a special called meeting, but Mr. Ray, the one that's very interested in the Walmart building, said that he had to have a signed contract to move forward with his, uh, his customers that are going to be leasing the building from him. And he said the sooner the better. He really didn't want to wait until the November meeting because he's really ready to get going on this. So I appreciate y'all all coming tonight. I, I know it's uh, not good to do one in the middle of the other two, but uh, I appreciate you coming and hope everybody will move forward with this. 
Thank you. Anyone else? Madam Chairman, uh, you know, when we come before the commission and, and talk about buying this building, and I told the county what a good deal it was, and uh, it, it's been a good deal for the county. I know a lot of people had a lot of negative things to say about the purchase of this building. Uh, they talked about myself, Mr. Mayor Shannon, members of the commission, what a, what a bad deal this was. Uh, the county, if the county hadn't negotiated the deal the way this property was purchased, that building would be sitting there 10 years from now because nobody would have been able to buy it. Uh, the county uh, had the foresight to buy it as a good investment, and the county's going to make about $150,000 off of this investment. Now, you know, my hopes and dreams when we started this would have a civic center, have, you know, updated our office buildings, and, and have a nice place where when you come into Mid County, everything was in one spot. Uh, and, and I think those dreams will still come true. We just went up having to probably do them in other places. I mean, the, the mayor's talked about it, and I, and I know that uh, we're, we're moving forward on some other things. Uh, it's going to put tax money back <coughs> into the county, but uh, when uh, Commissioner Preston said shop local uh, a while ago, it made me think of something. You know, a lot of these folks that was out here criticizing all of us about this building and saying what a bad deal it was, they didn't have the understanding and, and understand what all was going on. And everybody's entitled to their opinion. Uh, the gentleman's buying his property, uh, he's going to invest a lot of money into this county, and that's what we need. We need some jobs, we need to, uh, some retail, uh, and we're going to put some property back on the tax road. But we also got to realize the county, the people that's out in the public, needs to realize that, you know, if you want the county to grow, you want to have tax revenue from your property, but you also want to have sales tax revenue. So this gentleman that's buying his property, I hope we all support him. Whatever businesses they put in there, I hope that we support them. But when you go and buy in another county, you're benefiting that other county, their taxes, and you're not benefiting any county. So the gentleman, I hope he makes a fortune off this piece of property. I hope he does real good. I hope he brings in the industry or the, or the retail that he says he's going to. But I hope the folks in Bent County will shop there and, and support that building. And, by, you know, the Senior Citizen Center we want to put there, we haven't forgot the Senior Citizen Center. We're going to find a place to put the Senior Citizen Center and these other projects. Uh, where we'll find a better location than that, I don't think so, because that's one of the best in the county. But, uh, you know, I was torn between that, but, uh, you know, I understand the needs and, and I just hope everybody will support whatever goes out there. Anyone else? I'd like to follow up on what he said. Mm -hmm. I, I want to agree with what Keith said 100%. If it hadn't been for the foresight of Randy and the negotiating uh, with the commission that we had back a year ago, we would not be sitting on this property and we wouldn't be making this money. And I agree with you, Keith, 100%. It would still be sitting there because at the price it was listed at, and you couldn't afford to do it. Uh, Mr. Ray, he's already had contractors out there, and it's going to be more than $5 million to fix this building. So that just helps us on property tax. Thank you, guys. I would like to say one thing. Does anyone oppose me making a short statement? If so, you to run. <laughs> to five minutes. <laughs> it won't be five minutes. Um, Keith said everything that I wanted to say, so I'm not going to repeat it. And Mark, he has said everything that I wanted to say. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> It'll be less than five. Um, I would like to say that I'd like to mention Dr. Shannon's name because he took a lot of uh, slack for us. You know, he wasn't the one that bought the building. The county commission bought the building. He was blamed for it. But I still stand behind that I supported the building and I stand behind Dr. Shannon when he brought the building to us. And that was his job at the time was to bring the offer to us that he was offered. And as it turned out, it's turned out to be a good investment. We're going to make money on it. We're going to move forward. And I think we need to get this put behind us and move right on and look for this industry that we're all hoping that we're going to bring in here. It's going to free up some money that we can use for that purpose. So that's how I feel about it. And I just wanted to let everybody know. Madam Chairman, for the record, it brought my attention that they're out telling that I'm going to make a commission on the sale of this property, and I am not. So put that on the record for everybody to understand that. I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that because yeah. I was asked that same yeah. question. Anyone else? 
I have my request okay. to speak up. Commissioner Bain. I, uh, I am 100% for the sale of this building, but being how there are six of us that are new here, and we were not involved in the purchase of this building, and don't, may not, I know, I feel like I'm kind of blinded on this because I don't know what was done before I came and sat on this board uh, 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 of commissioners, but um, I understand that if I'm correct, we gave 750,000 for the building, is that correct? And we're selling it for 900. Is there a purchase there that the county has taken out to do repairs to fill that hole on there? Are we still liable for that? Or is there such a thing where we got money to, to uh, repair it? I talked to Buck and he's getting the state to repair that. And that's one of the conditions of this guy buying the building. The state's going to fix that because it's on the state right away. So we, we that don't cover it. We it's don't just a, it just needs a new cover. No, we've not spent any money on it. I knew there hadn't been any spent, but I didn't know if there was some that it was borrowed or set aside to repair it because I knew we were talking about fixing that hole at some time in that uh, road. So, I mean, is there anything that those of us that are new or not aware of that was pertaining to this? Because, like I said, I do want it sold out. We don't have any shops here. I, I laugh every time I pick up the paper, honestly, and it says shop at home. Where are you going to shop? The only place there is to shop is Walmart and consignment shops all up and down Main Street and on the square. We're, we're going to fix that for you, Debbie. Yes, we need it fixed, <laughs> desperately. That's why I was against putting county buildings in the Civic Center. We need places for people to shop and, and jobs. That's why I'm for selling. Okay. Commissioner Farr? If you have not read the contract, the contract states that when the purchaser buys this building and this property, he's liable for repairs or anything. So the county is not liable for <coughs> anything as far as building the properties or anything. He assumes it's a pro property responsibility and repairs. That's what I was asking. That's what I was asking. I just didn't know if we had a loan somewhere or if we used, had county money set aside. I knew that. Yeah, they were assuming that, but I didn't know we had, we were liable for any, anything that we were planning on repairing before we decided to sell, is what I was wondering. I've been asked what we will do with the money that we used to buy the building, and I'm going to let Mayor Ward answer that. You, you go ahead. Well, it's going back into the ARPA fund. Yes. Is that correct? Yeah. So I have been asked that several times by the public. So if anybody's listening, that money will be returned back to the ARPA fund. The, the 750000 to go back to the fund that it came from, the 150000 to go into the general fund. Y'all can allocate it wherever you need to. I mean, that's y'all's business. Anyone else? Okay, I don't see any. I'll, I'll say one more thing. When she says that it's going to go back into the ARPA funds, that just means it's still available for the Senior Citizen Center and Ag Extension, whatever projects we're wanting uh, to originally do in the Walmart building. It's still open to use for those projects. So we'll move forward on those projects as soon as possible. Okay, no one else has anything to say, so we're going to move forward and take the vote. So everyone, please vote. Taiwan, If you don't, if you don't have your tablet with you tonight, will you please raise your hand if you're in favor? <laughs> okay. Okay, that folks 
taken. I have a couple announcements. I don't know if you are aware, but tomorrow night is actually the highway committee meeting and the budget committee meeting. It, if you look at your calendar, because it is the second Tuesday night, it fell before the regular weekly meetings, which will be next Monday. Um, Commissioner Price brought that to my attention today about the meetings tomorrow night. So highway and budget meets tomorrow night. Next Monday, then we have our other three standing committees. The other announcement is, for the November meeting, the industrial board is going to feed us. And so Ms. Wheatley has asked that I get a head count of who will be there at five o'clock to eat. Well, I don't know anybody that wants to miss a meal. <laughs> five o'clock in the small courtroom. I believe the committee will go tomorrow night will meet and the next week it's always the second full week. Yes. And yes. that's that's not this is not a full week, so the committees on Tuesday would meet next Tuesday, not tomorrow night. Right. I looked for that information in our policies and procedure and I couldn't find anything that addressed the that difference. has been our that's been been our policy uh, ever since I've been on okay. the commission. It's it's after we get our packet in it. Okay, then the that's, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so I stand corrected on that. I'm sorry. So we will not meet tomorrow night. We'll meet like we regularly do next month. Anything else? And the eating is before the regular commission meeting. Yes, at five. Two more months. Miss <laughs> Wheatley, did you take the count? Yeah. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay. That's all I've got to say. Anybody else? <laughs> then I will entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Who is the second? Dwayne Okay, all in favor? Aye. Uh, any opposed? Meetings adjourned.